So I'm sharing with you in my backyard today. I figured it didn't get more imperfect than a rainy northwestern morning, mid-October. <laughs> and here I am uh, just looking for moments that I might find so I'm back in the studio now and I'm just thinking about this um, very gray, misty, raw kind of a morning. And in honor of me finding beauty and celebrating these imperfect moments, I am going to create a piece of intuitive abstract art from this scene that I see here. Now I have several images in my mind from um, today's um, experience out in that foggy landscape, that foggy, rainy landscape. Here's just one example. I'm not sure, because I work intuitively, if it's going to end up looking exactly like this, or if this is just going to be incorporated in the final abstract image. So I just wanted to bring that up to show you um, as a reminder. I'm working in oil and cold wax medium, and here's a little bit of my palette here. I'm going to be working with a limited number of colors, and I want to show you here is the cold wax. It comes in a jar like this. And I mix a little bit of this cold wax in with each of my paints and it allows me to um, hold on to texture really beautifully and, and work in a lot of layers. I teach classes on how to use um, oil and cold wax because it's a really beautiful medium that opens up lots of doors if you're interested in working abstractly. Um, so I am just going to begin to create. I have a piece of um, Arches oil paper here and I've taped the edges. Um, so I'm going to work in a more or less a square, and I would call this a painting sketch. I'm just going to be exploring these ideas, working intuitively, and um, at some point I'm just going to be really focused in what I see in front of me and letting the painting unfold. And that is what I mean by working in an intuitive process. Um, I have an idea in mind, um, but I really allow for the freedom of creativity so that that idea might change into something else as the painting begins to emerge. And, and um, I really just watch and respond to what begins to emerge on the canvas. So um, I might be quiet for moments of this because I'm really just thinking and focusing in on the painting. I might interject some ideas to kind of share with you some of the tools that I'll be using. And um, I hope you enjoy. And I'm really excited to explore this foggy, raw landscape. and. Um, come up with a painting that is evocative of the feelings that I had in that moment in time um, and try to create the illusion of some sort of detail that is reminiscent of that without actually painting it. I work with a variety of tools. You'll see none of which are a brush. Um, I really like the freedom of expression that happens um, when I use less exact tools. Talk about celebrating imperfect moments. You'll hear my old radiator going on in the background. <laughs> I'm looking at that as an opportunity for focus. Sometimes I allow the, the motion that I create to um, mimic some of the feeling that I had. There was quite a kind of scratchy, raw feeling out there. Even in those very imperfect moments in time, I love to um, celebrate the beauty in those in my artwork.
You'll see I'm piling on layer upon layer. And like I said, oil and cold wax really lets us do that. Um, because this is a sketch, I'm not gonna let it dry in between layers, although if I were working on a larger painting, um, I would let it dry in between the layers. some point in every painting process, I put whatever images I had away. Um, I don't really look at the image other than um, if I use one at all, it's just to remind me, as I had said, of the feeling of the place. I don't, I'm not concerned with painting the exact details. And I actually, I don't want to paint the exact details. I really want um, the viewer to be involved in the experience. And the way that I accomplish that is by um, creating just enough illusion of detail so that the viewer's imagination can take hold. When I do these sketches, I really um, try, I make an effort to work quickly, and I do that on purpose because um, it allows me to turn my brain off. I really like capturing the essence of a moment in time, the essence of a place, and if I spend too much time on these sketches, it, um, my, my overthinking, my anyone's, mine included, my tendency to overthink something gets in the way, so I spend a lot of time tricking my brain um, on just allowing my freedom of expression on the canvas and not to overthink it. 
and working quickly is one of the tools that I use and I help my students learn to use as well. Okay, my paint is getting very thick. So that is an indication to me that I can't do anymore. It's getting thick and beginning to turn muddy. So what I'm gonna do is just um, work it for another minute, take a picture of it and show you the sketch that I came up with that I could use for future inspiration on creating something really beautiful out of um, pretty imperfect moment. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you'd like to um, enjoy more of them and be notified and um, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. She provides a lot of kind of uh, gentle, helpful suggestions. Uh, she's been really fun to work with and she's very creative in how she does her Zoom classes. Um, I just finished a recent class with her, which was a small group, maybe eight people eight or 10. And uh, she's great about keeping in touch and kind of getting the group engaged and also moving us along creatively. I'll, I'll put it that way.